Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I typically make videos that relate to Poshmark only. So in today's video, I will be going over my sales for the last two weeks. I actually forgot to do my video last week. So this is going to be for July 1st through July 14th. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. So I did have a sale. So you can see down here, I had quite a few um, bundles and I'm not going to cover all of those because what I did was I had a three for $25 sale. So yeah, it was, it, it did pretty well, but I'm not going to cover those. I'm just going to cover the items that sold without being in bundles. Um, so I will show you um, the amounts for this week. All right. So for the last two weeks, excuse me, I had a gross profit of $1,052 after fees and shipping discounts. I made $790.90. My cost of goods for everything was $153.39. So that was a good thing. I've been trying to keep my cost of goods down. Um, shopping at the bins really does help a lot. And some of most of the stuff I did get from the bins, like maybe one or two things I purchased from Goodwill Retail. So um, my profit for the last two weeks was $637.51, which, you know, is you know, kind of low, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, but you know, things are slowly picking back up. Um, but yeah, so let's go through and I will show you, I've got 15 minutes on this recording. All right. So let's go through here and I will show you what all sold. All right. We don't need that one. Okay. So the first thing was the Cynthia Rowley green plaid wool blazer. I purchased this from a thrift store that I had never been to before. I got this a while back. It's probably been about six months. Um, I went ahead and sold it for $15. Um, and I think I paid like a dollar for it, maybe $2 at the most. Um, but yeah, it was a nice sweater. I liked how it had different colorings in it. The back was kind of like a lavender green and then the front was just straight green. Um, but yeah, the next item was this Pier 1 Imports Accent Throw Pillow. Real pretty. I found it at the Goodwill Bins, so I paid like $1.39 for it. This next item is a Fossil Green Corduroy Tote Bag. There was fading on this bag. Um, you know, overall it was a decent bag. It was pretty clean. There was some staining inside of it, but... Um, I mean, the comps for this bag in particular were actually really high, but since there was some fading, you can kind of see it's darker here and lighter. Um, they just, I guess, got a deal. I mean, maybe it, it possibly could have been like that by design. I don't know, but I don't want to take chances of a return. So, all right. The next item was this Althea striped full skirt. I paid $2 for this and it sold for 15 So that was a $10 profit. This I paid a dollar for. Um, it is an LA Tahari blue pencil skirt. This had a little tiny spot right here and it looked like a bleach spot, but I think that it was actually, if you look at the design, it's kind of got faded spots, kind of looks bleached in the way the coloring is. So I didn't really know if that was done by the factory or if somebody had actually poured bleach on it, but the person paid $19 for it. They gave me five stars for it, so I guess they were happy with it. I mean, it was a really cute pencil skirt. All right, so this I, I did not pay anything for. Um, it was free, basically, and I have a few more of these if anybody's interested in them, but I went ahead and sold that for five bucks. This is a Lane Bryant floral tankini top. The person paid straight out for it, 25 bucks, and I got this from the bins. This was an ASOS. Uh, black lace romper size two. I paid four dollars and 75 cents for this I believe. Um, the person actually contacted me today saying that there was an item in it that was not mentioned um, 
which I looked it over pretty well, so I don't know exactly where that hole was. But she accepted the order and then sent me a message. So I told her, you know, she could have opened a return. I would have took it back. Um, but anyway, so I guess there was a hole somewhere which I missed, unfortunately. But I'm just waiting to see if she tries to go and do a return, which I'll gladly accept, even though she's accepted already. Um, just a note, if you buy something, make sure you look it over because, you know, we're human. We do miss things sometimes. So um, that's unfortunate, but, you know. All right, this was a Levi Strauss denim jean jacket. I sold it for 10 bucks. I paid 2 bucks for it. It's one of those, you know, the cheaper ones that you get from, like, I don't know, like Walmart or something back in the day. Um, but yeah, I had it for quite some time, so I was happy with just 10 bucks for it. That was a 5.25 um, profit. This is a Dolce Vita coral fringe tassel bucket bag. I sold it for $13. I paid $6.50 for it. So some of these things, I basically just made my money back. And that's about all I did with those. <laughs> if they sat for a while, that's what I did. Um, this is a Bowdoin wool cashmere sweater. Um, she paid $9 for it. I got it from the bins. It had some slight pilling, um, which I used a fabric shaver on. Um, she, I want to say, gave me like a, a four-star rating or maybe less, three or four-star rating for it, but she didn't really specify why, so I guess just because it was older, I don't really know, but um, yeah, so I got it from the bins. This is a Chelsea and Violet chambray cutout tank top. I purchased this from the bins as well. Um, they offered 28. I had it listed for 35 and I accepted. This is a night. I'm going to, I'm going to butcher this, but it's a Nidaline Della Rufagali black beaded midi dress. Um, I had it listed kind of high. She offered 24 and it had been sitting for quite some time. So I went ahead and accepted it. It was in great condition. Um, I paid two dollars for it. All right, this is a pair of White House Black Market blue shorts. I got these from the bins, and they paid ten dollars. This is an H by Bordeaux gray asymmetrical fleece jacket. I don't remember where I got this, but I'm thinking I got it from the bins. Pretty sure I got it from the bins. If I didn't get it from the bins. I'm almost positive I got this from the bins, but um, she offered $39 and I accepted. This is a Tahari Pink Career Crop Blazer. I paid $2 for this and uh, she, I want to say she offered me $15 or I offered her $15. Um, it was also a host pick, so for those who say host picks um, curse your item where you never sell it, that is not true. It just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, this was a Harley Davidson Fat Boys Dominate um, t-shirt. It was an older t-shirt, kind of faded. I'm assuming the person who bought it probably was going to do some, you know, upcycling to it, you know, make it cute, I guess. Um, it was pretty large, um, extra large. So it was a men's extra large, really, really big. Um, I could fit into it, so. <laughs> um, I sold it for 10 bucks, and I think I paid like a dollar at the bins. This is a Stella and Dot Crosby Hobo Bag. I got this from the bins as well, so I paid like $1.39. I was shocked that I found this. Um, these retail f for, a, you know, a good bit, but they the resale price on them that I've seen in the Soul Comps is like, you know, $70, $75. So um, I, it sat for a while, and it did have some issues, not anything bad. Um, just the bottom of the bag had this right here and this right here, and I couldn't get those off. So it was kind of like they had rubbed on something and the inside was clean. Overall, it was a nice bag. There was this one little spot, which you really can't see anything, but it was like a glue spot, which I had to peel the glue off of it. Um, but I tried to show them with my horrible manicured nail, um, the area I might have to start using like a pointer or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she offered 30, so I accepted. This is a Moda Luxe Cream White Fringe Leather Bag. I got this for $6.50 at 
the retail store and it needed to be cleaned. I did wipe it down. I did the best that I could, but it needed more than what I could provide. Um, so she paid $15 for it. Um, if you can see in this photo here, it's kind of just a little dingy looking. These are a pair of Hollister black skinny jeans. They did have a tiny little pinhole in the corner of the jean um, of the pocket, which I did list. And she, I mean, it really was nothing that visible, but I like to hold my jeans up to the light, especially since I've had problems in the past where I missed holes in the pockets. The best way is to hold it up to the light and you'll be able to see any type of pinhole, any type of hole that's forming. Um, but she offered nine and I accepted. This is an Ivanka Trump black lace up midi dress and I paid two dollars for this. Um, there was an issue with this one. It had a stain which I tried to stain treat and look I didn't use my finger that time but right here it was just pink. It was like a very very light pink. That person probably knew what they were doing and was able to fix that I'm, I'm assuming but overall the dress was in perfect condition um, besides that one little you know uh, tinted spot. Uh, this is a Calvin Klein black and white printed maxi skirt. I paid a dollar for this at the bins and I sold it for 15 This is a Ralph Lauren sport green cable knit sweater. I paid, I want to say I got this from the bins. So I paid like $1.39 and I sold it for 15 this is a Ralph Lauren pink bikini top. I got this from the bins and I paid like a dollar and she offered 10. This is a Citizens of Humanity black rocket crop high rise skinny jeans. Now these, the resale price on these are kind of high. Um, but I think that's more for people who are going to just sit and let them sit, you know, and wait for a while to see if somebody offers more. I don't, I don't even know. I just, you know what? I wanted to get rid of them. I paid two bucks for them. Um, she offered me 37 and I think I had them listed at that point at like 48. So I just went ahead and took that offer. Um, you know, I like to accept these offers because what I've noticed is when I accept these offers, even if some of them are lower, um, my sales pick up drastically. So I have just been accepting offers left and right. Uh, this is a pair of Dansko Brown Leather Ray Mules. Um, she, I don't know, she, she said in her note she was uh, so happy that she got these. She's always wanted a pair of distressed Dansko Mules. And I was like, was she trying to be mean? Or because like I, you know, I said that it had scratching and stuff. I mean, but besides that, you know, they're okay. But I mean, you can clearly see that it's kind of like, the leather is kind of rough looking, but I don't know. Maybe she just wanted distressed shoes, but um, yeah, so she, I offered her 20 or she offered me 20 and she left five stars. So I guess she was happy. Okay. So these are a pair of Lucky Brand ankle boots. I believe I got these from the bins. I'm just going to say $2 just in case I actually got them from his house. But um, so whenever I got these, they had a stain on them. And it was like a red stain and you know I listed them low because I thought that it wasn't going to come off um, but the funny thing is whenever I went to go pull them um, that stain was no longer there so I guess whatever cleaning I did to it I actually fixed it and she got a really good deal because they were in pretty great shape um, the next item is this tacky looking go fish is like a bohemian midi dress um, I paid two bucks for this and she paid 10 and so it was like a 525 um, so like a two dollar and 25 cent profit so it's fine the next item were these anthropology the feral robin rainbow leather sandals um, these straps were kind of dingy and I did try to clean them multiple times it just was a no-go. I just, I could not get them clean. So I listed that they are definitely in need of cleaning. So if, you know, maybe this person knew how to do them, but she paid eight bucks for it. So, you know, she got a good deal. Um, they were, in, I mean, pretty decent shape. They were uncomfortable as all hell. I'm just going to say, cause I wore them and they hurt my toes so bad. I couldn't stand them. Um, this is a cabbie twilight jegging skinny purple camo. 
and I got these for two bucks and they sat for a very long time at least six months um, so ten bucks they were gone it's fine with me these are a pair of forever 21 distressed denim overalls and I got these from the bins she offered 25 I accepted she said that she had to re-sew one of the straps because it was twisted but she says they're in perfect condition she loves them so that was nice um, Ralph Lauren girls black dress I got from the bins a long time ago um, this person offered eight and I accepted it this is an Etienne I hate saying this name Etienne Agner Etienne Agner uh, straw crossbody bag I got this from his house I paid like two bucks for it and this person offered 19 and it was a really cool purse um, it did have right here some a little bit of light wear in that corner but besides that, it was in great shape. Um, but yeah. These are a pair of Nicole Silver Embellished Flats. They were really cute. I got these from the bins. You know, they didn't retail for a lot. So I wasn't going to sit there and, you know, act like they were worth more. They were cute, but not worth more than 10 bucks, in my opinion. But um, she offered 10 bucks, and I accepted that. This is a pair of True Religion Becky Bootcut Pioneer jeans. I believe I got these from his house for two bucks. Uh, if not, I got them from the bin, so it was even cheaper. So this person offered me 30. I think I had them listed at like 39, so I accepted. I love offers like that. These are a pair of Adidas Windbreaker track pants. I have literally had these in my closet since last summer. Um, and these sold for 10 bucks. Okay, so I got these Steve Madden Bandit Moto boots from the Goodwill Bins. I paid like two bucks for these. Um, I don't know, like the, these had like, it looked like a powdery finish to them, which I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or not, because I did try to wipe them down thinking, well, maybe there's this powder on them, but it didn't do anything. So I was like, well, I guess this is just how they're supposed to be. So I listed, it looks like a powdery finish um because <laughs> i didn't know what else to say i mean they were in great condition overall like those pictures are blurry man my eyes must have been really playing tricks with me but um i mean yeah they were in good shape um she gave me five stars for it so i guess she was satisfied with it i did have them listed for 50 she offered 20 and i told her that 25 was the lowest that i would go on these um due to their condition and she accepted that so um the next item was this fossil straw woven shoulder bag i got it from the bins it was an older bag so i did accept 10 bucks for it and the last item was this cabbie antoinette from paris embroidered velvet coat um it was really pretty and i probably could have got more if i would have just waited out until like you know fall um but I, I needed some money so uh she offered i want to say 30 I was trying to figure out how I could make a $30 profit at least and I told her 30 it was like that was like my lowest so she accepted it and yeah so that was everything that sold that was not part of a bundle so for the things that were part of a bundle there was I mean just a lot of these things were a bundle um, and I can say that I did have one bundle. <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking because I had a bundle. I had, the thing was about some of these bundles is whenever you do this three for $25 sale, people will get a lot of stuff and you will go over your $5, your, your five pound limit. So you have to actually pay out of your own money to upgrade the shipping label and so for six dollars you pay 3.99 extra and that's on top of the 6.79 that they've paid so if it's over six pounds then you have to pay i believe it was 7.99 so for this one i put everything into the box i weighed it and it was 7.99 shipping that i had to pay extra on top of the 6.79 so i shipped it off and then I'm cleaning in my office and I find the pair of shoes that she purchased and I'm like wait what oh no what, what's happening here so I didn't even put the shoes in the bag and then when she got them 
And when she got the box, she said, well, she knew the shoes were missing, because I'd already told her, because when I caught it, I went ahead and shipped those uh, first class to her. And then she's like, the Harley shirt was missing. I didn't even put the Harley shirt in, so I don't know. My mind was gone. Like, this, the cell, it, you know, it was a lot of stuff. I know whenever I went to go package up everything, it was just like, my shipping table was just like totally full of stuff. And I was just like, wow, like I haven't had this much stuff go out you know, in bundles like this ever. So I, I guess I was a little overwhelmed, but at the same time, I'm just like shocked because they were wrapped and everything ready to be shipped. So I don't know how I missed it. And I was like, well, dang, did I put the wrong stuff in her back, in her box? Did I, you know, but everybody else's box came through. Okay. They, you know, rated them and everything. So I guess just her stuff, um, I screwed up on. So yeah, I've got to be a little more careful whenever I'm doing these bundle items because that it can be confusing. But anyway, um, as for the cell, I was trying to do the cell through the end of July. Um, I'm trying to go through and reprice items right now. Trying to, part of me just wants to delete everything. I was watching um, an Instagram story for, um, uh, was it Story of Erica or Diary of Erica? I don't remember. Y'all know who she is. Um, but she was saying that she felt like just deleting everything and relisting all like with the same picture and stuff. And I can totally relate because I feel that way. But I have like, you know, 615 items right now. I'm like, I can't imagine. It took me literally a year to do all that. And I'm just like, ugh, I really want to redo everything. But at the same time, I don't. But I feel like it might be worth it in the end to do it. So I don't know. I'm debating on that one. Um, if you think that I should delete all of my listings and redo everything from scratch and make them prettier and in more detail, let me know in the comments. So, all right, guys. So that is it for this video. Um, you know, sales were pretty stale, but they are picking back up. I mean, I have had a sale every single day since July 1st and today is the 14th. And like I said, I've had today, I woke up with three offers it's just sales are steady coming. I also did um, test this whole, if you buy something off of Poshmark, it'll increase your sales. And as soon as I purchased something yesterday, I started having sell after sell. So I was like, well, maybe it might just be a coincidence. But um, yeah, I have literally, I've been using this whole law of attraction thing and it's working very well. Um, if you don't know anything about it, just, you know, go to YouTube and look up manifesting with the law of attraction. Um, uh, yeah, it was extremely strange how that works um but i just keep thinking that things are already happening and they're happening so it's just really strange and weird um but yeah so i've had a sell every single day that was the one thing that i wanted was to to have daily sales and now um i'm going to try to focus on getting my pending up to a thousand dollars it's not going to be easy i can already tell um but i'm going to do it i got to change that mindset there's that doubt creeping in I think doubt's like the worst thing ever. So, all right, I'm done rambling. I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.